Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Only Eye Kingdom. This is Bryony Parker here bringing you in Maya Gansborough Passes Away. Yeah, I had the death message come up, like the early death message come up, so forgot to mention that, but yeah, so here we go. Maya Gansborough's passing and of course funeral. Never even got to see her youngest son get married. Life's light is fading. Soon Maya will be directed to Ganos. Maya, I have no regrets. As long as everyone is happy. Maya! Oh, <laughs> Liza. It's so sweet that she cares for Maya so much. Holy Naga, use your messenger. Lead this soul that belongs to the gods to the land of Ganos. What's going to happen to, well, Hunter and Eliza, though? Will I still live in the suburb mansion? I better be allowed to stay here, but yeah, until, of course, her funeral. Alright, guys, Maya's funeral. Last night, a traveler left for Ganos, guided by the god Naga. Their remains have been laid to rest in our kingdom, and now their soul can find everlasting peace among the gods. We can no longer speak as before. But through the gods, we can sense a departed soul. As long as those of us who remain here do not forget. Gods in heaven, we ask you wrap your, or that you wrap our brother in the cloth of peace. Holy Shizni, give those remaining in this world your love and solace. And of course, before this video ends, you'll get to see little Elena as a child. Alright guys, and this is Elena grown up. This is little Elena Gadsborough, and she is so cute. Oh my goodness. And of course, I'll fix her up, and then I'll report when... Eliza is going to be expecting the next baby and what, or well first, what Elena's final looks are going to look like. Not changing any of her facial, facial things or whatever, just her hairstyle and clothes. And then I'll get on to showing when the baby is due for the next one because I'm planning on having another. And the day after, which you have to do literally to choose the gender of the baby because you have to first find out that they're pregnant first before you can even use the last flower. So till then, when I decide the next baby girl before the end of this episode all right guys this is elena's final look so i changed her hairstyle and i put all the cute stuff on it and our stuff on her and oh she's so cute and the outfit she has on is pure white elegance and the our uh, chamomile wreath and the white waist ribbon and oh my goodness so cute and of course until eliza is pregnant with the second baby and then i choose what the baby's gender will be with a less flower. Okay, guys, Eliza is pregnant. So it is time to decide the baby's gender. And I'm going to say this now, all of Hunter's children are going to be girls. So I'm going to decide this baby's gender to be a girl. I don't care what gender a baby is as long as it's healthy. But what about you? I want a girl. I want a girl. Let's pray with the thing then. Yes, I hope you get a healthy girl. We'll need to think of a good girl name now. Oh, we got one picked out, Eliza, which is perfect. Which is two different Elena names. And yeah, we'll see which one it will be in the next episode. And of course, to show off before the end of this episode, when the baby is due, the baby is due on the 3rd of 260, year 264, or year 265. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the other side.